Yo, what's going on guys? Today we're going to be talking about Battlefield 1 and the little bits of information and facts that we know from the reveal trailer that you guys may not have picked up on and may want to find more about. Now the main things we're going to be covering in today's video are weapons, melee weapons, planes, vehicles and finally maps and the destruction of maps. First things first, we're going to get into the weapons because I'm sure you guys are most interested about all of that. First weapon we're going to talk about is the MG08 machine gun. Now you can see this being used in the trenches in one of the first clips in the reveal trailer and also being used by the guy wearing that crazy kind of steampunk armor. Uh, this looks really, really powerful. I'm not sure whether it's obviously a heavy machine gun. Uh, not sure whether it's going to be able to pick it up and move around with it. it looks like you can because the guy in armor is and uh, that is a pretty fun one to look forward to. Next, we've got the Winchester 1897 shotgun, which is also known as a trench gun. Now, I didn't know that this was actually available in World War One. I. I thought this was a World War Two weapon. I've played with it in loads of World War Two games, for example, uh, Call of Duty World at War, uh, and loads of different World War Two games. But uh, it looks like this is going to be in the game, so we have got shotguns to look forward to. Stick Grenade is another one which is being carried on the back of the guy in the trenches. You can just see this. This is kind of a load of grenades taped together. They're not always kind of made, specially made like this. The people would actually take six grenades, tape them all together and make them into a stick. So you can throw it and pull all the pins out at once. And that was actually used against tanks and different vehicles. So that's one that maybe an engineer would use against uh, vehicles. And something that would be pretty good for taking down the tanks that are coming at you when you're trying to get away from all of those uh, overpowered vehicles. Next is the Gua 98 rifle. This is a very small clip. I only just managed to see this. Uh, you can see there's actually got a side scope mounted on. That's meant to reduce sway and not um, helps you not to be seen over the top of the trench when you're trying to be discreet. So that's uh, another weapon there. And also we've got the Lee Enfield MK3 rifle, Mark III rifle. That's uh, typically used by the British soldiers. You can see it being used in the trenches and um, them actually mounting their bayonets. We'll talk about the bayonets a little bit later. Another one is uh, the rifle you can see being used by these guys here. Unfortunately, this one's a bit harder to identify. Looks like something like the Car 98, but these guys don't look German. They actually look maybe European, possibly Italian, maybe British. Can't quite tell from this picture, but um, that one is yet to be confirmed, but it looks a lot like the Car 98. Finally, a very, very short clip here of the M1911 pistol. Now, obviously, we can't confirm that it's that, but uh, it's a very similar shape, and that was a typical... World War One pistol to be used. Don't know why I said finally there, there's a few more to go. We've got uh, the Mauser 1918 anti-tank rifle, that's a GUA rifle, uh, and it's anti-tank. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to be a stock weapon that you can use, possibly something to be used by engineers when taking down vehicles, because it would be pretty OP. In Battlefield 4, we saw some really powerful snipers that you could only pick up and couldn't put them in your stock loadout, so uh, maybe that's going to be a Battlefield kind of pickup, or a uh, the equivalent of a rocket launcher or something like that. In the cover art, we can see the guy is holding a pistol. This looks similar to the Mauser C96 pistol. Um, and yeah, that's another pistol going alongside the M1911 to look forward to. We've also got the Lewis gun, which is being used in the clip where the guy is kind of running into the smoke and he puts on his gas mask. That one also is mounted on the back of planes, but we will get into that in a couple of seconds. So there's a lot of weapons to look forward to, a lot of uh, variation, and I'm sure that is nowhere near the number of total weapons there are going to be in Battlefield 1. So that's the first category that we have covered. Now, next thing we're going to move on to is planes. There's a lot of planes in the trailer, a lot of different things that we saw from the reveal trailer. The first one that we see is a British plane. It's a two-seater, and it's called the Bristol F2B. Now, this has got two seats. You can see that is the Lewis gun mounted on the back. It kind of swivels around, and uh, that will kind of induce some teamwork into the game. You'll be flying along with someone, so someone will be flying. Someone will be using the gun, and uh, I'm not sure whether the Lewis gun it's obviously going to be used to fight down planes or shoot down planes, but uh, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to fly and maybe aim it at the ground. It's not typically a ground-based fighter, but uh, we'll just have to see whether that can be used against soldiers on the floor. Next one is a German plane, which is the Gotha uh, GV. That's got two propellers, and again, I didn't know that twin propellers were uh, around in World War One, but apparently in Battlefield One they were. Uh, and that's got swivel turrets as well, as well as a lot of seats. So that's going to be a pretty heavy-duty aircraft that can get a lot of people in there, and um, I'm sure that one's going to take quite a lot to take down. Next, we've got the Sopwith Camel, which is another British plane and uh, is pretty well renowned for being one of the best and one of the most well used British planes in the First World War. 
Next one is a German fighter, which is again a two-seater, something possibly to rival the Bristol F2B. This is called the Helberstadt CL2, and uh, you can see that's got two seats in there, and that one's going to be, again, a lot of fun to use. Again, Fokker DR1, that's got a single seat, we all well know this, uh, obviously the Red Baron, that's the typical plane, that's a very well known plane, and there is meant to be a kind of expansion pack or, or Battlefield 1 pack called the Red Baron, so maybe we'll see that a little bit later after the release date. Finally, we've got the Zeppelin from the very end of the trailer, which looked absolutely magnificent and pretty terrifying. Imagine seeing one of these things coming over you in real life. It would be pretty damn scary if you'd never seen anything like that before. Uh, now, these obviously nowhere near as quick as a fighter. They're very slow moving, but uh, you can actually drop bombs from them and you can have people uh, using guns and uh, machine guns up there. So maybe you could get into the cockpit of one of those and use a turret or possibly a sniper or something from up in the Zeppelin. So that opens a whole new window of, uh, of gameplay as well. Now let's get into the rest of the vehicles. First thing, the only ship we can see, uh, it looks British. Uh, a lot of people on the internet have been saying it's an HMS Iron Duke, obviously. Pretty hard to identify because it's quite a blurry picture and it's very, very short clip within the trailer. This is a British ship and um, that's the only ship we have yet to see. But maybe they'll reveal some more closer to the release date. Next, we've got uh, tanks. Now, the MK4 tank was a typical tank that we saw a lot in the gameplay next to the guy using the anti-tank rifle, and that looks crazy. You can see the guy steering it in there, and um, that opens a lot of opportunities in terms of gameplay, because these will be very different to tanks used in Battlefield 4 and games like that, and I'm not sure they're going to maneuver the same. That's something we're going to have to look forward to and see what we find out about those. Uh, German tanks, now... I didn't see many German tanks in the trailer, you guys may correct me there. Um, obviously there was that kind of multicolored tank, not sure whether that's... It's definitely opposing the British, so I would guess it's German because it's going over the British trenches. Um, but I didn't identify that. But one typical or very well-known German tank from the First World War is the A7V Sturmpanzerwagen. So <laughs> that's me trying to speak in German. But uh, yeah, that's a possible German tank that could be used and that's a pretty well-known one as well. Uh, again, we've got the armoured train, which looks absolutely crazy. I'm not sure how much these are going to be used, whether it's going to travel around the outside of the map, whether it's going to be a kind of commander thing. Um, and, well, we're just going to have to wait and see. But that is a pretty crazy thing that opens a lot of doors. And uh, this one looks to be something called an Orlik or a Tsar Muretz um, armoured train. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to have to look forward and see what that's going to turn out to be. And then something that isn't quite a vehicle but uh, is a heavy-duty weapon, I guess, is the uh, artillery. We've seen that being used a lot as well. I'm not sure whether that's going to be a commander function or players will actually control it within the game. Another thing that uh, is going to have to be revealed sometime in the future. Now, let's get on to melee weapons, guys. Uh, we've seen a lot of different swords. In the desert, we've seen um, the scimitar sword that someone's using on a horse. This looks pretty crazy. Not sure whether it's going to be limited only to that map or that area or maybe only to horse back but if it was if you're able to use that in the trenches and different things like that that's going to be uh, very different but a lot of fun we've got spiked mace which we see being used at the very start of the trailer which looks absolutely brutal i would not like to be hit in the head with one of those uh we've got the bayonet with the english players are mounting so the english soldiers are mounting to their lee enfield rifles um, and that's obviously something very well known that I'm sure you guys have heard of before. And then finally, you can see a guy using a shovel to take someone out as well. So uh, a whole new arrangement of different melee weapons, um, and I'm sure a lot more are going to be released somewhere towards the future. Now, guys, what we're going to talk about just towards the end of this video is the maps. Uh, obviously, we haven't been told any of the multiplayer maps and we haven't seen too much gameplay. So obviously, one minute is not very much at all and we're just kind of speculating a lot at the moment. But uh, in terms of maps, the main one that I've seen is the Alps map. You can see the plane flying over here with the red Fokker. And um, loads of different huts if you look closely down below. It looks pretty huge. And Battlefield's obviously always notorious for these big and destructible maps. But uh, this one looks a lot of fun. And it looks pretty well structured. So that one's going to be pretty fun to play out. We've also got the trench map. Again, you can see the English players in there. Or the English soldiers, I keep saying players. Uh, in the trench mounting their bayonets. That's possibly going to be another map it looks to be the same map with the artillery uh, and you can see all of the trenches kind of stacked out with different wood to hold them up and and that looks like something that's going to be very idyllic of world war one very kind of uh, similar to what we think of when we think of like the eastern front of the western front um, in world war one and then finally
finally, we've got the desert map, which is huge, very, very open. Not sure how this one's going to play out, but I would assume that this would be a multiplayer map. And uh, yeah, we're going to have to see, but that's going to be very, very open to snipers and different uh, long range weapons. Finally, about destruction when it comes to maps, you can see one clip of the castle exploding. That's uh, obviously typical battlefield destruction. Uh, and let's just hope that the rest of the map is going to be like that. Obviously, we don't want the map to be completely destroyed by players in the first two minutes of the game. But uh, a lot of destruction is always fun and does always open a lot of new windows in terms of playing the game. Because it opens new routes to run through, new areas for cover. And it looks pretty awesome. Another thing is uh, the battlefield. You can see it's all been very shelled. All very kind of chewed up. Um, bumpy ground with holes in it. Very typical of World War One. And um, yeah, that again looks to be a destruction available within these maps so there we go guys pretty detailed uh, video there for you hopefully I covered everything that we could see from the video and hopefully that's uh, enlightened you guys to some new weapons some new melee weapons or vehicles or planes or different things like that and hopefully you've learned something new if you guys did enjoy this make sure to smash that like button uh, I'm gonna be covering a lot of battlefield one it's really really exciting I'm looking forward to covering more when we find out more information and uh, if you guys did enjoy the video and uh, want more up-to-date content make sure to smash that uh, subscribe button but thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next video